Welcome back. Day two. Nodami Contabile. Picking up right where we left off. Chaksama is storming off to practice. Now we resume in the cafeteria. Hmm. You think he's going to a lesson? Want to go listen in? Sure, whatever. But before that, food. Today I managed to get one of the store's 20 limited editions. And then Fuga. No. Looks good. All right. So want to go listen in? You probably know what that means. You can listen into something. I want to listen in. It's kind of like, I feel like it implies you're kind of secretly doing it to some extent, or it's just not like you're super public about it. Like, but you can use it in other ways. Maybe like I want to go listen in on the lecture. But in this case, they're using it to go listen in as Chaki-sama goes to practice. A limited edition is for like books, movies. Usually it's like a maybe a special edition, like they only sell, you know, like a limited edition pencil would be a pencil that somehow special and there's only a certain number of them that are going to be made. Um, I have a limited edition Nintendo Switch. Uh, it's an Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch. So I guess you could call that limited edition. I don't think they manufacture them anymore. Um, okay. So they're eating lunch. They're really, she's eating lunch. The other girl doesn't seem too interested about lunch. And we would call this, I think it's called a bento box. You could also just say lunch box. No, Dame! Ki, my lunch! Okay, I guess one of those girls is named No Dame. I, it's probably the girl eating lunch. Since she screamed, my lunch. Okay. Um, I heard Hayakawa Kun. Or no, no, Hayakawa Kun, the conducting majors leaving to study in Europe. I feel like I'm reading that wrong. I heard Hayakawa Kun, the conducting majors leaving to study in Europe. Mm, I'm not 100% sure on this. I maybe just basically somebody's going to Europe to study, I think. But this is weird. They put apostrophe s because that usually implies there's possession. So I don't know about that. Anyway, let's go over a few terms. So this thing here, this is called sheet music. Yeah, sheet music is what you can, if you play an instrument, they'll write the notes on there, sheet music. Whoa, there, heard he's going to Germany. How could they let that sausage look-alike study abroad? Maybe they got it wrong and he's being deported. Or maybe this is the guy they're talking about. What the hell am I doing here? Shit. What the hell was that? Damn it. So that must be the teacher, music teacher. And he like seems to have hit Chaki-sama with something. 
Don't add things on your own and don't stop unless I tell you to. Are you really serious about this fool? The school concertos competitions, the school concerto competitions coming up I, again with these apostrophe S's. I, I, I don't know if this is a legit translation. Um, the school concerto competitions coming up. I think it should be the school concerto competition is coming up. I don't think we would put in an apostrophe S like that. Like, they're trying to do the old, like, it's type of thing to be short for it is I think it's called a contraction but I don't think you can just use that for any word because that usually apply that it's ownership like the competitions like I'm thinking the competitions what like the competitions speakers the competitions participants not the competitions Nobody writes that. I've never seen that. That's why I'm so confused. So I guess we can learn a little English by me correcting this shitty English. Or maybe my English is shitty and I've just never seen that. But I'm going to go with their English sucks and the translator should be fired. Or the editor. Somebody should be fired. Okay. Hopefully it's not hard to follow the story when I am keep interrupting myself. But... If you find it hard to follow the story, then just go back and read it. All right. The school concertos... I'm just going to read it how I want. The, the school concerto competition is coming up. I hope for your sake you aren't planning on fucking yourself for the sole purpose of humiliating me. <laughs> uh, let's unpack that last line. For your sake. Like... I hope for your own good, like for for you, basically. You could just translate that as, I hope for you, right? For your own benefit, for your sake. I hope for your sake, you aren't planning on fucking yourself for the sole purpose of humiliating me. Um, in this case, fucking yourself is like, Just basically screwing up the performance. And he's got some sort of fan that's not sure what that fan is called. I'm going to call it fan. But I feel like there's a, a different name for it in Japanese. You said you like Beethoven. So get into it a bit more. Hmm? What's this? A score? Ha! Huh. What's a pianist doing with a scorebook? Oh, you've even given performance notes written in it. Wait, wait. Oh, you've even got performance notes written in. Oh, you've even got performance notes written in. Uh, okay, there's a little asterisk note here. This little thing, by the way, this is called an asterisk mark. And uh, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen these in other books, but that's what we call it. So for those that don't know, a score is the conductor's sheet music. And it has every musician's part on it. Hey, they finally used the apostrophe S on it, or correctly, good for them. Uh, all right. And it's like, now that I started doing these videos, I became hyper aware of how I'm speaking. Like I noticed already, I said, all right, a lot. But I'll probably do it again. But I'm gonna try to not say, all right. Or maybe it's okay. I don't know. Let's just keep doing the video. Uh, that's another bad habit. You shouldn't say, uh, just be silent. You want to be a conductor or something? 
Give me time, I'll get better. You want to be a conductor or something? Give it up. It's like, give it up, forget about it. Don't do it. Just quit. Just because you're a, a, a little gifted with the piano doesn't mean you can. Shut the hell up, old man. I love his facial expression here. He's like, oh, wasn't expecting that. Uh, you're like a broken record. Okay, let's read the whole thing and we're going to come back to that. You're like a broken record. Here, I'm going to put a little thing so I don't forget to come back. Conducting lessons like your students owe you something. Elite music professor, my ass. All you ever think about is forte. Forte. Con foco. All of your students sound the exact fucking same. You disgust me. If you ever, or if you picked me because you liked me, then stop shoving useless crap down my throat. Wah, ha, wah, wah. Go back to Spain, Harrison teacher. Okay, great, great interaction here. Let's go over some of this stuff. You're like a broken record. So a broken record is like, you know, the old record players, like they're spinning, but sometimes uh, it will get stuck. Like, and we'll just keep going like, duh, 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 and just keep playing like the same, like three seconds, three, like over and over again. So that's where this comes from, I'm pretty sure. A broken record is something that just keeps, is keeps repeating itself. So if you call somebody a broken record, it means there's somebody who just keeps saying the same thing over and over again. You probably have friends like this who tell you some problem and they've told you this problem like 50 times already. You could say to them, hey man, you like a broken record. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know if people know elite. Probably you know it. Elite is just like prestigious, like high class. Um, and when you say elite music professor, my ass, it's kind of like bullshit. Like when you put my ass at the end, it's kind of like, you're not an elite music professor. Like, are you kidding me? Um, I thought forte meant loud. Oh, it does. Yeah, see, it says that right up there. Forte means loudly. I'm pretty sure that's Italian. Uh, and I don't really know what he's talking about here. I guess he's saying this professor always says to play it loudly, which means all of the students sound exactly the same. Loud. Okay, to shove something down somebody's throat is try to like force them to do something or believe something. Um, like if you say, stop shoving your religion down my throat, that means you're telling somebody to stop trying to convince you to convert to their religion. So, so nothing. Yeah, that's it. That's all I had to say. See, that's another one. Sometimes I'll say so as if I had more to say, but it turns out I didn't have anything else to say. So now it's awkward because I said so. And then, okay, Harrison, a Harrison is the little paper fan that you always see people getting hit with. I've never seen anybody get hit with a paper fan. That must be like a Japanese thing. See, it's not even coming up in the English dictionary. Oh, <laughs> look at that. A man being hit with a Harrison. So is this fan's only purpose to slap people? Yep, looks like it. A Harrison, meaning slapping fan, is a giant paper fan, usually made in a closed fashion. It's most traditionally used as part of a manzai act in which the straight man, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it, smacks the funny man in response to their jokes or idiocy. Okay, so yeah, it's a Japanese thing. That's why I don't know about it. Okay, so we're also learning some Japanese culture by reading this. Okay, this next one. 
We got to keep this moving. The video is getting too long. So I like that they pause for a beat and let you feel that silence of like, whoa, he just yelled at his teacher. Is that all you wanted to say? I still have more. Nope. You said quite enough. You won't be having lessons with me anymore. And you'll be entering a, the competition under a different professor's name. You're hopeless. I was wrong about you. Goodbye. Okay. I think it's hilarious that he said, I still have more. <laughs> you said quite enough. Uh, you could shorten that to just be, you've said enough. Under a different professor's name, I don't know if that needs translation. It's basically like, you could say he's working under this professor. He's working under this boss. Like basically the boss or the professor, or whoever is looking out for that guy that's under him. So under a different professor's name. So we'll have to see whose next professor is. Okay, so I think we've really started to establish this uh, Chaki-sama as, yeah, a pissed off music student with his own ideas about music education. And um, he's going to do things his way. And he's got a vision and it seems like he wants to be a composer, uh, maybe not a performer as much. Um, okay, so I think that's enough for today. I never know what to say at the end of a video. So I think I'm just going to abruptly 